Hi everybody, my name is Kathy Strauss and I'm an ambassador with the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce and I'm here in the Franklin Burroughs Chapin Muse Art Museum with Liz Miller who is a curator and she's going to tell us about this absolutely fabulous exhibit that we're standing in. Well this ex exhibition is called Can't You See Ocean Plastic Artifacts and we worked with six different artists from all over the country um, to organize this exhibit. So it's a group e exhibition of all kinds of artwork in all kinds of um, media and dimensions. So, but the one thread that ties everything together is plastic is somehow involved and it's plastic from our water streams, oceans, and beaches. That's cool. So I'm an artist um, here in Myrtle Beach and one of the things that I found out about the exhibit was I did a lot of the collecting or some collecting for, so can I see some of my plastic that I put in here? <laughs> you or absolutely or can. That, that plastic from our community plastics drive is not actually in the exhibition in the galleries, but we do have a brand new uh, large scale, it's 10 feet wide, sculpture of an octopus on our front lawn that's filled with plastic that our community brought to us that they either cleaned up off of beaches or didn't decide to put in their waste bins. So I have, do have to ask you, because I know when I used to teach kids um, art, did you name him? We did, and we actually took a vote on social media. Okay. So we came up with Ringo. Ringo. So we now have an octopus's garden, if you're a Beatles fan. Oh, we'll absolutely. get that reference. That, that is awesome. <laughs> so what other exhibits do you have going on here in the museum? So we have another wonderful exhibit on our second level called Emily Estelle Weston. And she was the wife of a rice planter here in Georgetown County. Wow. And they had property in Horry County, too, all along the Waccamaw River. Um, she, they, the Westons lived here in the 19th century. Oh, wow. And her husband, C.J. Plowden, was actually our lieutenant governor during the Civil War. Oh, that's cool. So Emily Estelle Weston, British-born, she painted and drew everything she saw around her, from the architecture on their plantations to uh, the flora and fauna that she saw in our area. That's awesome. So of course I'm standing here in the room and I'm seeing this wonderful sea of red plastic and we've got this one whole kaleidoscope of all lighters. So yes. how, do the art, how did you find the artists? So I basically combed the internet. <laughs> uh, I found a wonderful article in Time Magazine that highlighted artists that were working with plastic to bring about awareness. Truly they're activists just as much as they are artists. And I pretty much contacted almost everybody that they highlighted and found a few others. That's and I awesome. decided to go with these six artists. Alejandro Duran, who um, made this cool. wonderful photo installation that we're standing in front of. Pam Longabardi, she uh, is a professor at uh, Georgia State University uh, near Atlanta. We also worked with Kirkland Smith. She's from Columbia, South Carolina. Um, her husband, James Smith, just ran for governor. And we also work with Sayaka Gans. She's from Indiana. She's Japanese born. And we have um, one other, uh, Diana Cohen, who is the CEO and co-founder of Plastic Pollution Coalition. Oh, wow. And an artist in her own right. That's awesome. So how can the community get involved in helping bring out awareness. I know coming and seeing the exhibit it is great, but Visit what else? the exhibit, read our text panels. There's so much good information there about the history of plastic, why plastic is important to us, and also um, how it's harmful to us, and what we can do in our own lives to stop this pollution, because ocean plastic pollution is killing our marine life, our birds that fly over the ocean. Right. Um, and then, in turn, we we love seafood. We're here on the coast. Right. If that plastic, if those plastic toxins have been ingested by the fish we eat, we're getting it too. Do you do any classes or art classes? I know you do them for children, but what about for adults that we can do something to do a recycled type of project? One way that you can become involved right now as an adult is attend this wonderful lecture series that we have going mm -hmm. on in coordination with this exhibit. It's called Planet or Plastic, and we're working with different uh, people who um, have either written about the problem or who are local activists here in our town. Um, for example, our, our lecture this past week involved a panel of five people who are activists here in Horry and Georgetown County. Awesome. So how long is the exhibit on for? So this exhibit runs through September 8th, 
Uh, and the exhibit upstairs about Emily Estelle Weston mm -hmm. runs through September 1st. So I understand that in, um, in a conjunction with this exhibit, you also got some of the uh, students involved to create their own. We did. We, we have a teen art program that's uh, really growing. And with some of the plastic we collected from our community with our plastics drive, they met over the course of a couple of months and created a wonderful green wall uh, behind our front desk in our lobby. Cool. Anything else that you want to add about the museum or how people can get involved or come see? Or hours we would or just love for you to come see us. You can find uh, more information about our hours and how to visit okay. us on our website. Cool. So I'm Kathy Strauss with the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce again. You've got to come see this exhibit. It is absolutely fabulous. Better yet, join me. I'm going to go take a walk around. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome.